NVIDIA has released a new game-ready driver, 581.08, a release heavily focused on improving your gaming experience. This driver brings some genuinely useful features to your arsenal. For example, global DLSS overrides now allow you to apply your preferred DLSS settings across all supported games, saving you the hassle of individual configuration. More exciting for many is NVIDIA smooth motion support for your RTX 40 series GPU. This feature adds frame generation to games that do not natively support DLSS, offering smoother gameplay and significant frames per second boosts, especially in CPU bound titles like Baldur's Gate 3. It truly makes a noticeable difference. Beyond these new capabilities, NVIDIA has addressed several frustrating gaming bugs. You should find fixes for the persistent photo mode crash with path tracing in Cyberpunk 2077. The negative performance issues in Marvel Rivals are now corrected and game crashes in Forza Motorsport when using smooth motion are resolved. Stability problems in Grey Zone Warfare and Ark Survival Ascended have also seen attention. Even older titles like Battlefield 2042 and GTA 5 have fixes for previous crash issues. For those on GTX 16 series laptops, the significant frames per second drops in EA FC 25 using Direct X 12 are resolved, likely due to an underlying memory leak fix. However, it is not all perfectly smooth sailing. Some annoying issues still persist. If you play Counter-Strike 2, you might still see text distortion at lower resolutions. Like a dragon, infinite wealth may still present light flickering for some players. Star Wars Outlaws continues to experience regular crashes to desktop for certain users. And if you own an RTX 50 series GPU and play Indiana Jones and the Great Circle, you might notice that outlines highlighting interactive items can still disappear. Even Project Geassist continues to show unsupported system for some RTX 4060 Ti users. There are also reports of general flickering issues in GPU accelerated web browsers or random black screens that this driver does not, not resolve. Ultimately, this driver introduces welcome features and addresses many critical gaming-related bugs. While some problems remain, the overall direction shows NVIDIA's commitment to improving the gaming experience.